What's up guys? Today is Friday. Finally Friday because today's the best day of the week because simply right there it is. I don't even have to tell you guys because you know today's the best day of the week. So let's see what he's got. Come on. Finally, Friday. Man, I know when you come, it's almost over. It's you're getting close done. to being off work for a few days. That's close. Nice. Y'all don't do nothing but ride around, so y'all shouldn't need a day Yeah, we off. don't even work, you know. Most places, I don't even stop anymore to slow down and... They just throw money on the windshield? Yeah, I, can get, I got them trained. That's why the river bands are for... They take the money and wad it up, and they rubber band it where they can throw it from farther off. <laughs> Just drive by and it hits the window. Yeah. That's what he said at lunch. He had to go to the bank and make a deposit. He had to use a battery-operated leaf blower. He just opens the back door and blows blows a big pile in there like yes. leaves. I forgot my leaf blower at the house this morning. I'm going to borrow Clay's before I leave today so we can get that taken care of. Mine blows leaves. I don't know if it can handle <laughs> money. <laughs> Must be nice. Must be nice. Everybody's gonna believe that too. Yeah, you got it, son. You can't hide money. Especially if you ain't got it, you dang sure can't hide it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had a good week. I've been just clicking along, trying to figure out what the weather's gonna do most of the time around here. You know? I know it was eighty. No, it was seventy-eight when we left Tampa, and then it was thirty-seven here. Yeah. I was like Monday, I walked out with my jacket on, this one right here. If I ain't made it to the truck, I done pulled it off, you know, because it felt like it was 70 something degrees Monday. Nice. Tuesday was the same way, it was nice. <laughs> Wednesday, about halfway there in the day, it uh, that temperature started dropping. I don't think it quit dropping yet. Yeah. I think it's supposed to be warm again this weekend, though, they said. Yeah, it was froze this morning. Got that right. It'll be raining and warm, so it'll be storming this weekend. Yep. Bring it on, I don't care. That'd be all right. As long as, it don't, uh, as long as we have a good Super Bowl weekend, I don't care what happens to it. Yeah. So who are you, uh, who are you picking for the Super Bowl? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay with Brady. It, uh, stay with Brady. There you go. I think, I think he'll be able to pull it out. Now, I mean, I like old Patrick Mahomes and I like the Chiefs. That's it's going to be, be a good game. It's going to be tough. It ain't going to be, ain't neither one of them win by no 14 points. Uh -huh. It'd be a three-point ball game, I believe. That's what everybody says. That, oh, Mahomes got this one. Man, you can't ever bet on Brady. Nah, you, you can't never bet against Brady, nah. I should say. I mean, ask so, uh, Matt Ryan and the Atlanta Falcons of that. Exactly. <laughs> like, they had that game won, they thought. Yeah. Man. I mean, it took him the whole second half, but he oh. chipped away. and Yeah. I'd I never mean, bet against that dude in nothing. Even if it was like checkers. He's never, you know, if he's never played checkers before, I'd be like, I don't I don't think I'm going to bet against him. Yeah. And that's, <laughs> I'd use, I'd tell everybody all the time, back when he was with the Patriots, I didn't like the Patriots. Oh. I just just didn't like the organization and stuff. I always liked Brady because he always seemed like he wanted to do, mm -hmm. I mean, do whatever he can with whatever he had to do to win, you know. And now he, he changed teams just to prove that he was, I mean, the best. Yeah. Don't you know old Belichick's wishing he had uh, stuck <laughs> up for Brady a little bit and yep. done that contract extension and all that? <laughs> Brady was playing for me and he said, look, I want to play down 50. I'd be like, okay, you're 43 now. We need to do a seven year deal. Yep. It's done. Like, so even if he's not that? playing, just the experience he has and the knowledge of the game, he's going to help your team. Well, yeah, even if you got If your... he's sitting on the bench with a dry race board, drawing right. out plays, that's what you need. You yep. know, he's, he's amazing. Yeah, he's a, uh, 
He's something else. I'd have him. I'd hire him as quarterback's coach. Fast. <laughs> <laughs> I figure when he gets done with the game, he's not going to need to work. He's going to have plenty of cash, but I hope he sticks around for a while. I think him and the Peyton, I think they got big plans already for their commercials because yeah. I figured that's like Peyton. I love Peyton Manning as quarterback. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I mean, he didn't have the prettiest throw or nothing like that, but the man has got it done Smart. all the time. But, man, he grew up in football. Yeah. You know, like that was his whole entire his life. His whole life has been that. And I thought that he would – I figured within two years he'd be coaching. And he right. said that he has no interest in – he likes doing them commercials and playing golf. They're funny commercials. They are. <laughs> I like them. Like those are Brad Paisley. Man, he yeah. chews me out with that. Those Brad are, Paisley's a funny dude, too. <laughs> those are really funny, man. Like, I figure you see old Tom Brady slipping in on them. And yeah. I, I think he's up under contract next year, so he'll be back next year, I'm sure. But I don't know how much longer he'll want to go after that. I think his son will be old enough to start playing high school ball here pretty soon. Yeah. I don't know if he's on play or not. But. It's going to be awesome to, to watch. You know, the Mannings has got a nephew. Have you it's seen any of his highlight videos? To be bad to the bone. They say he's better than any of the three wow. boys. That's good. They say he's the uh, only man in that, I guess it's like a six or seven day school in Louisiana that they all played football at. Yeah. And none of the Mannings started in at ninth grade in, uh, for that team. They all was in 10th grade. This boy started in ninth grade as the quarterback. Wow. And so he's already breaking their records and stuff. Runs in the blood, don't it? Yeah. Well, what all new? New? You got anything new? Nah, we got some uh, good old nice wrenches up here. Nice wrenches. We like nice wrenches. Yeah. You know about these. Oh, yeah. The uh, Trebus. The Trebus wrenches. We got the sets out 10 through 19. Uh huh. And uh, you can see the narrowness of them. We can put a 10 up here. Get that back lined out. It'd drive me crazy just sitting there sideways. <laughs> But you can see the size difference from a 10 to a 19. Right. I mean, you can't tell me this ain't no getting no tight spots. Mm-hmm. We got these. And those will full lifetime warranty on those. Yep. So all 100% American made, 100% American made material. And you ain't going to buy them unless you buy them from a tool truck dealer. That's it. And these are, I mean, the, the finish on these things, they I'm not sure what they look like through the camera and stuff. I mean, they got an excellent finish on them. I mean, you can see the shine right there. It's a dull finish, but it still shines. Mm. It's nitrite coated. And then yep. the the inside here where the ratchets are is DLC coated, which is diamond like carbon. That's what so. gives them the, uh, where you ain't got lubricating and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Do you have mm. a regular 19 line wrench on here or one of the sizes and we put up next to it and compare it? Oh, uh, I don't think I got any line wrenches. I know right. everybody thinks they're a whole lot bigger. But yeah, they're, no, they're not. They're, they're a, not. I don't have any line wrenches at the moment. Or if you got a standard, we can put like a 9 16 up against the 14. Yeah, we can do that. This is a 17 millimeter. But snap on those got some of the thinnest nine ratcheting wrenches out there. And this is a ratcheting wrench, but you can see it's, I mean, there's not much of a difference in it right there. Mm-hmm. Let me see if I can get this, that light behind it is pretty bright. Ain't a whole lot. I think I got them lined up right. Yeah. For a ratcheting line wrench, that's like a, that's pretty good. I was and very impressed with a them. regular line wrench, it's not. They're about the same. Yeah, so honestly. it's not much difference at all on a regular line wrench. Try to see if I had one sitting up here somewhere, but I don't. And of course, I mean, everybody's seen the. Uh, can you find the. There's, that's the pack. Here it is, right here. The O2 sensor and the knock sensor wrenches and stuff. I mean, these are a little bit thicker. They're a little right. bit heavier made, but the stuff that you're working with these, mm-hmm. like what I had to do the knock sensor on this truck. Yeah, you need to tell everybody about that because that's, that's a pretty good, pretty good story right yeah. there. Yeah. Well, Mine, I was in Russellville, Alabama. My first stop on Monday is an hour 40 from my house. And of course, uh, this truck got 155,000 miles on it now. So of course, with the diesel, you're gonna have O2, knock sensor problems, death problems. Mm-hmm. And uh, well, that's what it is, just a death problem. Uh, but it caused my knock sensor to go out. The truck went to massive D rate and five mile an hour limit. Well, I'm 20 miles, when the, when I say 20 miles, everybody's like, 
Now we probably really went 20. I was 20 miles from the shop that could fix my truck. Right. Where I had the stuff to fix it because they're mostly all automobile shops mm -hmm. in the Russell, Alabama. Uh, I called them. They came out there and looked at it. We hooked computer and stuff to it. And he's like, they're going to have to tow it or drive it to the shop. Anyway, four hours later at five mile an hour, we got to the shop, you know. But we swapped out a few things went to get the knock sensor out. And I didn't even think about this at first. I mean, we're up here with wrenches and everything else, trying to get a pry bar on them and stuff. And I'll show everybody where it is, just so you you know. Let me shut this off, because it's going to be loud if I... But here's the knock sensor right here. Right there. Right here. I was able to get right down on it from the inside, from over here. And with this... Oh, dang it. But we was able to uh, put the bar on it. I'll get it out for a minute. We put the extender bar on it, and from the front wheel, pull it and break it loose. Right. Super easy. Of course, it didn't screw right out. We had to ratchet it all the way out. Mm hmm And drive an hour 40 cheap low, get the part, hour 40 <laughs> back, back. <laughs> to put it back in. Then, let me just say, them three days was tough. By the time we got it narrowed down to this, swapped out a few other things. Running hour forty each direction to get parts, mm -hmm. get it going, do a two hour regen on it, and then not fix it. And <laughs> that was rough. But it so, was. So, uh, what did the guys think about that sensor wrench when you showed it to them at the, the I would shop? I, after they was fighting with it with the regular line wrench and stuff trying to get to it, then I mean it just clicked like I got something made just for that. Yeah. I say y'all use this right here. Of course, they look at it as like, that ain't gonna work. I said, put it on there. You know, just put it on, let's, let's use it. They put it on there, was able to put the extension on there and pull it, popped it straight loose, ratcheted it right off. And I think there was five or six guys in the shop. Everybody got one of them. Mm -hmm. They seen right then that this is what they're gonna have. Yep. And I already showed them the book on these and they're waiting. Ain't nobody committed to them yet, but they that's like, we wanna see a set. I was mm -hmm. like, well, you will just when I get them, you know? Yeah. So, uh, this one be good. So, then, what's your price on those? These are gonna be five eighty nine. Okay. Uh, if you are interested in it, of course, everybody's seen my number. You got my number. You can call me. <laughs> you can text me. Facebook message me. Whatever you want to do, and uh, we'll see about getting your set out there you. There you go. Well, that's the only way they're gonna get them because there's been a lot of people wanted to buy them through the website and this and that, and they're just not available. Just simply because you know it gives dealers a chance to. Yep. You know, get them first because there's such a high demand for that product. Like, we're selling them faster than we can actually make them, yep. which is, well, I mean, a good thing. I mean, that's what you want on a. On I, I like what Trebus is doing, where you can't go online to buy these. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're doing strictly tool trucks, and what it is is because they know the tool trucks is going to buy more from them than any individual is right. going to. Yeah. And I mean, they don't. They would sell a bunch of them individual wise, but then they're just not going to buy more of them. But mm -hmm. tool trucks can see a couple hundred people and potentially sell quite a bit, right. quite a many sets and stuff. And it just makes the warranty process easier That's for That's what I was going to say. Another thing, too, on Trebus's side, it makes, you know, warranty easier. Because yep. obviously, as a tool company, when something breaks on your tool, you want to know why it breaks. Yep. You know, and it's better because, you know... They're going to warrant it regardless, but you know it's nice to know how it broke or what went wrong. So you know, whether it be a manufacturing defect or you know a design flaw or you know even misuse in some cases. Yeah. You know, so well most cases where you get broken tools, not all. It's abuse. Most, most cases is abuse. Yeah. It is. I mean, and you know, and a lot of people, you know, they don't think about that. Those are line wrenches. They're not made to replace your ratcheting wrenches. Right. That's designed to take. Well, toward, yeah. But, I mean, because I mean, you know, these the, are they. I mean, they are a little bit thicker than your regular ratcheting wrench, but you're not going to use this where you're going to use your regular mm -hmm. ratchet, and you're not going to use a regular ratcheting wrench where you can use this at. Yeah. Uh, you know, like that's where a lot of people get it confused. You know, they think you ought to be able to break a 100 foot pound bolt loose with a 10 millimeter. Well, it's, you it's know, not I mean, happen, it's, you know, I mean, they're line wrenches. They're yeah. designed to break line wrenches loose, not to take out bolts with. Well, like, oh, I mean, I've seen pictures and stuff. I'm not going to say on here. But I've seen pictures where you use these on different stuff because mm -hmm. where we wanted you can't to see get, what it would do. Yeah, right. Where you can't get a regular ratcheting wrench into, you got to mm -hmm. use the opening wrench. 
And which I mean, open wrench has been working fine for years for that because you put it in there, turn it. Yeah. Like that. With these, you can slide it in and, and just do it. And, and same with tightening too. Mm -hmm. I mean, every mechanic knows, every flat rate mechanic knows time is money. And even hourly guys too. I mean, if you can, uh, for a shop owner wise, if you can work on 10 cars a week instead of six, right. that's more money. More money. And, uh, I think yeah, I mean, I wanted to see what they would do and see what they could handle, and I'll be honest with you, they're really impressive, yeah. you know, and they've got a good product, and something new, and... American-made. Mm -hmm. It's something you, ain't, you nobody's seen, it's, you know, I mean, yeah. it's, it's a brand new thing, so... I'm, I've always been big in the American-made stuff, uh, and there's a lot of tool companies that have American-made stuff. Uh, a lot of tool companies that are mixture, I'm not sure what... Snap-on's mixture is between American-made and non-American-made, but uh, I mean these is I can only say these are 100%. Every part in this yeah. thing is American-made. Even made. the cardboard box and the sticker and is you all, know the ones with the foam trays, the set with the foam tray, dirty. <laughs> they, yep. Even the foam, nothing is made out of America. Yep. You know. It was in Ohio, I think. Yeah. yeah. All was made in Ohio. Uh, Sooner or later, they're gonna have to branch off and do more as the. Get either get bigger facility or another of, facility. They got a lot of stuff going, you know, and, yeah. and I mean they're just I guess if you look at it like they're still in the first inning, they've got a long yeah. life. And I mean of cool like, tools. Well coming this was out. the first thing with well, the that was their first wrench that they came out with and they branched out to these and of course I mean this is a new set. They had the smaller set already with five piece mm -hmm. yeah. or six piece, something like that. And they brought them all the way down to the tens. Um uh, and I'm sure that they got different stuff in the works too already. Yeah, they got a lot obviously, of new stuff. That's... If you're in the tow business, like snap on, you can't sell just sockets. Yep. You can't sell just. And wrenches. that's what's you got cool, to... you know, because they they have an R and D team, and you know they they they've sat around and thought of what you need. Like you know, and that's some of the best answers or the best things in life is having a problem. Yeah. Because if you don't have a problem. You can't come up with a solution. Well, you can't move forward. And you I mean, know that's what they've done is like we're guys struggling. What do they need? And like that's just the tip of the iceberg. Some of the stuff that they're going to be having is is changing the entire tool yeah. industry. And it, so, I mean it's it's cool. You know, and like right now they just did a deal with Tesla. Like obviously, if they're selling wrenches to Tesla, they, you're doing something. They've right. got something done right. You yeah. know because obviously Elon Musk is a billionaire. He could make his own wrenches if he wanted to. Yeah, I mean, know, Elon so. Musk changes the stock market off of one tweet. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, so. he's like, everybody buy this right here. Nobody goes yeah. buy that because... So, I mean, you know, if Tesla thought enough of them to buy them, you know, that, that says something. Because read, our Giga Press that they have, that's the most expensive, the largest press in the world. And yeah. this is just the beginning of that relationship that those two companies have. So, there's big things coming. You're talking about Elon Musk. I read some stuff about him. That's probably been a few months back. But you know that he works on all his own cars. Really? He said he don't hire it out. He works on all his own cars. And another thing, even though he's the CEO of Tesla, that he don't get paid by Tesla. Really? All That's his cool. money he makes is through stock market and doing other stuff, like hustling. Well, he's done well for himself. You have to be a billionaire and to uh, not <laughs> like, take a paycheck from you know, his own company. I don't company. like the way that credit card companies are doing, so I'm going to make, um, uh, what is it, PayPal. Yeah. And there's too much traffic out here in California, so I'm going to build a Hyperloop. Yeah. Well, I want to go to space, so I build my own spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> He's got it going on. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, that just kind of tells you that if he's seen the value of those wrenches, they're they're worth something. Yeah. So. And, yeah, a fellow like that, to just, I mean, even think about something like this. Like, why would he even be worrying about the wrenches that they're using back there? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's true. You think he'd be like, well, I don't care what they use if it's. Just get it done. Yeah. Trebus yeah. snap on or <laughs> Carlisle or something. You know, I mean. that's, uh, I guess, you know, when you look at that, you can see the amount of time saved. And obviously, the more time you can save, the more you can get done in the day. Yeah. So. I mean, the next set might be working on a spaceship. You don't ever know. That's what we're hoping. We yeah. send them in outer space <laughs> cranking on something. That'd be kind of Working cool. on the antenna like, that's a Trebus. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you finally get the hall green in? I, they're not even online anymore right now. I went to check the other day to see, and the quarter inch is not even online at the moment. I wonder what the deal is. I don't know. They got three eighths and halves, and you can even get one inch again now, but the quarter inch ain't even online at the moment. So I don't know what the deal is with that. Oh, well, one of these days, maybe. 
All right, guys. Well, if y'all need any Trebus ratchet and line wrenches, the 10 to 19 set, they're 589. Just give Joven a text. I'll put his number down here and you guys can buy them up. Like let always, guys. What was I said, that? let me know. Let him know. Let him know. All right, guys. Like always, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes. And like always, if you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that button. You guys have a great week, and we will catch y'all next time. See ya.